In this video, we are talking all about how to create amazing how-to videos, so stay tuned. This is the She Needs Business Show, where we show you how to turn your ideas into reality and become a wildly successful entrepreneur. Carrie Green, She Means Business. Hey, it's Carrie here, founder of the Female Entrepreneur Association and author of She Means Business, and I'm so excited that you're here. This video is part two of a four-part video series we're doing all about how to create amazing videos for your business. If you haven't checked out part one yet, make sure you pause this video now and go and watch it. The link is below, so check it out. It's the bird's eye view of how to use video in your business. But in this video, we are joined by the amazing Brandon Lucero. He is the founder of Sold With Video, and he is joining us to talk all about how you can create amazing how-to videos. Brandon, welcome back. I am so excited that we are here for another video talking all about how everyone can make really powerful how-to videos. I feel like this is something that people get really overwhelmed with. I remember the first time I tried to make my <laughs> first how-to video, it was awful. <laughs> it was so bad and it's so overwhelming and it's really intimidating to try and actually do it. So where do people even begin with doing this? Yeah, so the very first thing is, well, I think the first mistake is where we should start. And that's what most people do is they just kind of like think they know what everyone is looking for or they think they know what their audience wants. And it's uh -huh. really almost always not the case. So you, if you're going to put out how to content, you want to make sure you're doing it on stuff that people are actually looking for that, so that it can get ranked and so it can get found. And the very easy way to do that is survey your audience mm -hmm. or use the Google Keyword Planner tool, um, which you can like type in keywords and they'll tell you what, what people are looking for. Uh, the other way you can do it is just look at other people in your industry, what their most popular videos are, and yeah. that will generally give you a good idea of like kind of where you should go. Um, so once you do that and once you figure out like what your audience is looking for, then you have to go and create the video, obviously, and you have to use a very specific strategy or, or format for it, which we can break down right now. Um, but the thing to remember, and I know you know this and I did, and I especially did this when I first started, is you just like, most people get in front of the camera and they just talk <laughs> and talk and talk. <laughs> but what you really wanna do is you just wanna be concise. You, yeah. you know, you have to remember, you know, we have a lot of knowledge in what we're gonna talk about and you have a lot of knowledge in whatever you're gonna be talking about. But someone who's searching for it and it's brand new to you won't have that knowledge. So if you like go yep. deep into it, they're gonna be overwhelmed and they're like, I'm out. So what you want to do is you just kind of start the video, which is how you start all your videos, of just letting them know what they're going to learn. Yep. Hey, in this video, you're going to learn X, Y, and Z. Yep. Then we typically do like a logo reveal or an intro. Right after that, we just go small in intro like, hey, I'm Brandon Lucero, founder of Sold a Video, or hey, I'm Carrie Green, founder of Female uh, Entrepreneur Association. And then you just get right into it. You know, they want to learn, they want to know. The, and, and what you like want to avoid is explaining why. So if I'm doing a video on on how to use YouTube and it shouldn't be sitting there explaining why they need to do it. Like, yeah. They already know that. That's why they're searching for it. Yeah. So just get straight into it and go, as soon as you introduce yourself again, you just go like, all right, let's get into step number one of X, Y, and Z. And then you just go through the steps, step one, step two, step three. And it should typically be like three to five minutes. Um, I, I typically will tell people if you go below three minutes, you really have to ask yourself, did I add enough value? If you go over five minutes, you really have to ask yourself, Am I being, you know, uh, am, is it? Am I being concise? Yeah. And that's the thing is, you just don't want to blab on and on and on. Yeah. You just want to get to the point and like give them the information. And so three to five minutes is is that range where I typically like to stick into. But you know, sometimes it literally takes like ten minutes to explain something and be concise. Yeah. So it's just a rule of thumb, you know. How would you say people should prepare? Because I am the queen of waffle. <laughs> uh, I find it really difficult to be concise. So with planning out videos, like I have to be really careful with how I structure it so that I yeah. can stay concise. So what would your recommendation be for the wafflers out there? <laughs> so I think it, it, I, if you're just starting out, I think scripting is super important. And I used to do that with every video. I'd script out word for word what I was supposed to say. And I would just say like two sentences at a time. But now I'm at a point where we can just have a very detailed outline and we just go for it. So we just like stick on the points. And if I start getting off topic on one of the points, I just know, okay, I need to redo that part. Or like if I'm working with someone, reel them back in so they're like on point. So at the very least, what I would do is always batch everything. So you film like eight videos in a day and you just have a detailed outline of what you want to talk about in each video. So that way you just get up there and you're just like, boom, 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 boom. And you know, you're done. You can be done with eight videos, which could technically be like two months worth of content, 
in just a few hours. Yeah. And so if you, and the more you do it, the better you get. I was going to say yeah, that is impressive. Eight videos. I feel like that you can work yourself up to eight videos. Yeah. I mean, if I did like two videos in a day, I used to be really happy. I was like, yeah. ooh, two videos. <laughs> Um, because yeah it's quite hard and also it's like it just takes a lot of practice like you said to get good at and like to get comfortable where you can actually script something and read it without it sounding scripted and just practice like one of the things I found early on with making how-to well making videos was how-to videos was um, I'd do the video and I'd be like oh my gosh like that was great and I'd watch it back and I I realized I looked miserable (laughs) like I looked so moody and I was like whoa I thought I was being really happy and enthusiastic and I realized you actually have to kind of up the your enthusiasm levels on video and but still be authentic and it's it's you know it's I think that's what puts people off because they're so afraid of how they're going to come across on video yeah because video does do that it you know it is you know you feel like you're at a certain energy level yeah. and it kind of like tones you down you're like oh my gosh I'm so monotone I'm just yeah. here like this but you know <laughs> you felt like you're going for it so um, I always say feel a little more over animated and a little more vocal uh, for me, being a big introvert, like it was very difficult, and now it's it's very easy. It's just the normal way that yeah. I mean, talk on video now, just because it does tone it down a little bit. So make yeah, definitely make sure that you you um, like up level your your energy and, and your pronunciation and stuff like that for sure. Yeah. And then, do you have any tips for closing out videos? I mean, I yeah. know we're going to be talking in another video later on about um, emails and how to use video to drive email subscribers. But how um, do you have any tips now on how people like close out the video? and tips for like the end of getting people yeah. to take action and liking and subscribing more. yeah so so the whole call to action and the ending is is its own science well yeah like you said we'll address that in a different video but basically what you want to do is just kind of like recap what you just taught like okay guys those are the five things to do x y and z you don't need to recap each step but just like those are the five things to do x y and z and then you go into your freebie you should always have some kind of like download or something you can get to get onto your email list and you do that at the end of the video. And after that, we typically go into what I call the end card where you can do like bloopers or a, like a little goodbye message where you say like, hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button down below and you know, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. So you do stuff like that. So I always recommend that you do something at the end, uh, something a little more fun, something a little, little different. And the reason why is because you want audience retention rate on your videos. And if your audience knows, hey, they're, you know, like Harry's going to do something cool or have a blooper at the end, maybe I'll stay to the end and watch it, which increases your watch time, audience retention rate, and uh, ultimately gives you more exposure. And yeah. that's really a secret to YouTube. Like if you can get more watch time on your videos, they're going to start pushing your content all over YouTube, like related videos field and higher in the rankings, and you're just going to get more views over time. Yeah, I love it. Um, so it's actually then really quite simple just like getting clear on what content you're going to create that your audience is going to love break do your hook at the beginning like say what you're going to teach and then just get straight into the steps don't around (laughs) straight into (laughs) straight into the how to's you know give them lots of value and then close out obviously get give them the hook again the call to action rather to you know take you up on your email offer subscribe like the video engage yep that's what you want. That's it. Love it. Um, thank you so much for coming to share that. Um, of it's very, very useful for everyone, I'm sure. Um, in the next video, we are going to be talking all about how to build your YouTube subscribers, which is very exciting. Um, but now this is the part of the video where I tell you what goodness we have in store for you that you can go and download. Um, perfect example right now of doing videos. Um, so we've actually created a download for you. It's completely free, breaking down how you can plan out your videos. Um, it's going to be really helpful for for you so check it out the links below you can just get instant access once you've signed up for it so definitely go check that out and i will see you in the next episode of she means business hey guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future videos and also leave a comment below and let me know what how to video you're going to make a little bit of accountability for you so you actually do it and i will see you in the next video